Hello, hello America, hello children. Okay, so we are here. Yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you. So we are here. We are going to kind of conduct an experiment uh, where we uh, pit perception versus reality. It's called stereotypical. And basically what we're going to do is I'm going to ask a few people um, to give me a stereotype about them that people expect, that people think about them that's actually true. Then I want you to give me a stereotype about you that's not true. Or you can do it in whatever order you want. So right now, um, let's start with Connor. Hey girl, how are you? <laughs> a round of applause. Okay, so Connor, tell me, um, what about you is a stereotype that people may think is true and is? And what about, uh, tell me a stereotype that is not true. Okay, so um, I grew up in the country, grew up in Plant City, Florida, country as hell. All right from Plant City. Um, I've always been known as the effeminate one. Um, people think because I'm effeminate that I like the arts, I like painting, I like all the girly things, but I actually am uh, a fanatic when it comes to kayaking, mountain climbing, I love camping, I actually love watching sports, I love football, obsessed with football. Wow. So that's something that not a lot of people understand when they hear my voice, they're like, oh. So that's something. Um, but one of the things that is true is because I am effeminate, I am a total power bottom and single so <laughs> Work. Well, okay, so I'm going to challenge you. Do I even need this mic? Because I, I'm already mic'd up. Okay, so I'm going to challenge you on something. So you said that one of the stereotypes is that people think that because you're effeminate that you like painting and stuff like that. Uh, but that's actually almost kind of true because you do paint. You just paint in a different way. I Tell us paint. about that. Um, so I actually am a body painter. I body painted for Halloween Horror Nights. I body painted for Fashion Weeks actually in Miami. I body painted for Fantasy Fest in uh, the Keys. So I actually am a fanatic when it comes to doing art. Um, I believe I also do drag. So right. I get in the gig once in a while. Um, I do that because I believe that it is an expression. I believe that it is a character and the hyperfeminism is something that people need to understand that you don't have to sit there and be a certain way to understand that you can gender bend any kind of role that you want to do and you should be able to accept and love the fact that you can be whatever gender you want to be and be proud of it. Right. Yes, yes ma'am. And he is, Connor is actually a, a beautiful boy, but the fact that he does paint puts him in a different category. So we don't call him trade, we call him Trish. Trish. That's when you trade, but still a little bit fish. Trish. All right. Well, thank you very much, Connor. So the next person that I'm going to, and I'm very excited about this. So Al just, Al just referred to um, the one that doesn't have, uh, has a big dick, but doesn't have big dick problems. This is the porn star extraordinaire, Antonio Biagi. How are you, darling? I don't have a problem. You do have a problem? Yeah. I talk, what he said, I talk about the, the toilet problem. Oh. That's actually a serious problem. I swear to God. Uh, if, if, we're all being, if we're all being honest, it probably happened to all of us. Well, maybe not all of us. But. Okay, so tell us a stereotype about you that people expect, maybe because you're a porn star, maybe for whatever, people expect about you and that is true and one that's not true. Okay, I think because... I'm a porn star. I think a lot of people think I have a lot of sex constantly all the time, but it's not true. Uh, I barely have sex, actually. I do have sex with my husband, but uh, a lot of people get intimidated with me. So a lot of people are like, oh, like they want to, but when it comes to the time, they're like, oh, no. Let really? Get afraid. Yes. Really? <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, before we go to what is actually true, um, that's actually a stereotype that I would expect and that I would think also that A, because you're a porn star that you have a lot of sex. B, I also would think that for me it might be a little intimidated to have sex with a porn star because they know how to do it so well or so the stereotype is that they have so much sex that they know they probably wear your ass out. Good answer. <laughs> okay. So that is that's the stereotype that is not true. Give us a stereotype about you that is true. I'm Puerto Rican, so I'm loud. <laughs> <laughs> that's for sure. 
the, the loudest of Puerto Rican. I could be, yeah, I could be a little loud, like, a yeah. little crazy, yeah. Do you find that a lot of Puerto Ricans do fit that stereotype? At least my friends, yes. Yeah? <laughs> okay. Well, thank you so, so much, honey. Thank you. Okay, anybody else? I noticed, I noticed my friend, I noticed my friend who was sitting um, here, he, he scooched scooch out of this area because he didn't want, he didn't want um, me to, to call him up. I'm just going to call up one more person. Mama, could you please, please come here? I'll go halfway. Okay. Oh, you want to come up? Oh, girl, you just, hey, honey. I, I, okay, I, I, I called for Mama, but another Mama came up, so I'm not, I'm not mad about it. Yeah, try. <laughs> okay. Gorgeous, by the way. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, the stereotype is that I that I wake up this way, but trust me. <laughs> okay, so what is your name? It's Lenora. Lenora, that's a beautiful name. Thank you. So give us one stereotype about you that is true, mm -hmm. and one stereotype about you that's not true. Uh, well, I'm from New York City, so Woo! a stereotype about me. Thank you. That is true, is that I'm kind of a no-nonsense kind of girl. Work. Yes. I, I do not suffer fools. At all. At all. <laughs> yes. Clap your ball. That, that is it. That's me. Yes. All right. Um, and a stereotype about me that is not true is that, I guess because of YouTube videos, they, they see and they think, well, you know, a black woman that looks like me is like always ready to fight or whatever. But I'm very genteel, very mild-mannered, very congenial. So you're not the angry black man. Absolutely not, unless you make me so. Oh, <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. So how do you how do you juxtapose? Juxta, how do you juxtapose. Say that? Yes, juxtapose. Right. Whatever. How do you um, how do you manage to be a no nonsense bitch? If I may, you know, yes. with all respect, yes. respect, a no nonsense bitch, but still very genteel, very you yes. know. Tranquila. Yes, tranquila. Uh, I try to operate with a lot of patience, compromise, and consideration with dealing with people, um, but also assertive and um, kind of pick my battles. Right. Amen. Amen. This is a girl. This is a girl out of out of my own heart, honey. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you so much. Okay. Well, this is Power Infinity. You have been watching Power Infinity's Stereotypical. Tune in.